Yes, um, uh, two to three, a lot, a lot, a lot in stock. Uh, the ladies are doing so, so well in uh, the Women's Super League, where, of course, uh, we had uh, the Cardinals and uh, UCU Cardinals uh, playing in uh, Kampala, Queens. In there. Okay, now we are going to be finding our way through to you. That is our correspondent, Mr. Kokole Swaiba, who is uh, right there in Koboko, where, of course, the user or the uh, secondary school uh, ball games are going on. A lot of things. Remember, I did say Saturday was when you will be seeing that the quarterfinals will be taking place, and that was one update he gave us uh, right through uh, in their schools qualified and how many we shall be getting there. Now, let's first uh, uh, try connecting to him and see what exactly he will be telling us uh, uh, from uh, there. Now, of course, um, Mr. Kokole, good afternoon, and how is yes, uh, the day today? Uh, good afternoon, Owen. Good afternoon, uh, the P1 for. Uh, Lighter TV, a very chilly weather right from Koboko. Okay, now let's look at uh, what exactly is happening that side. Uh, you're already on ground, I should say, and there are a lot of things that are probably happening uh, with uh, issues of uh, how things are going through right there. Now, of course, on West Nile TV, we did say we shall be giving every other person, we shall be updating everything uh, for any other person who wants to know what is happening in Koboko, how far with the quarterfinals. I think, uh, you know, in Koboko, things are getting very tight and tight. A lot of peer guys today, I think it definitely <laughs> should be more than that in Arua, uh. or in a Hyde. And as I did say, you know, earlier on today, uh, the Saturday, of course, um, uh, also the quarterfinal uh, for boys and girls games that have been played. Mm. And the teams, uh, you know, SS, coaches, SS, Nyai, of course, Padombo, Bay, Staff, and Charles Younger. Mm. And I may memorial not forgetting Young Air in the boys' team. And of course, in the girls' team, as I said, uh, those ones that are through to the quarterfinals that they did play today, uh, coaches, SS, Millennium, Ayume Memorial, mm. uh, Padombo, uh, Nyarilo, SS, and Koboko Town College, not forgetting Young Air and Public. And uh, in the games played, of course, uh, the boys' football started at um, uh, 8.30 a.m. in the morning. We did it with the next year, of course, drawing 1-1, one, one, of course, with the coach Urban and, uh, sorry, with the coach SS. And year, out of this tournament, though being the defending champions for 2023, after a penalty shootout of 7-6, um, uh, Actually, seven six penal shootout. Uh, that is for Team Koti uh, sending Nyarlo out, you know, from uh, Terima playgrounds. Uh, the second game that was also played, uh, that is, uh, that was in Nyangilia. Uh, Nyai, of course, uh, Nyai winning two goals to zero. Perhaps Nyai, the only team uh, that won, you know, the clean sheet, uh, beating Padombe says two goals to uh, to zero, and they're through to the semi finals. Uh, they start St. Charles Luanga Owen. <laughs> I think that's where the aspect of Pia Guns came in. Mm. Uh, uh, between uh, they start and St. Charles Luanga, the game was played in Yarlo uh, playgrounds, uh, like I said, at NKM. What happened was that uh, Luanga, you know, dominating, hopefully, so high that they could have the game or win it. But unfortunately, the team didn't come. Uh, they drew one win, and of course, they had to go for a penalty shootout. Uh, they, uh, they scored 23, but uh, the, 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 the aspect there, the penalty wasn't through. The referee said it's a goal. The linesman said not a goal. Mm -hmm. That's when, uh, you know, the Luanga boys got angered and they had to riot. People were really dispersed with a lot of sheer and guns. Um, um, uh, 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 so you won ground. Yes. And uh, I would really want to know, according yep. to you, where was the challenge and who was correct, who was not correct? A part of humans, and in that case, uh, you know, the my layman, the eyes, uh, the referee uh, takes the blame uh, because you know, the linesman says, you know, can we first come and talk? And everyone actually, you know, uh, knew and so very well it wasn't a goal, the ball did cross the line, it was very clear. The referee says, no, it's a goal, okay. Yeah, all right, let's proceed with that. Uh, what is there now? Uh, all that, all the caviar and the chaos is there, don't you think? Uh, hasn't this, hasn't this, uh, this one interrupted? Are the games of the day? Well, I think uh, I think uh, all in yellow free grounds uh, that uh, around that's of uh, the stoppage after the situation on count. Uh, that's when they got back to the pitch and uh, you know they had to finish uh, the penalty shootout and it ended up in um, a six five in the top of Beista. Uh, you know sending Luanga home. Uh, not uh, though Luanga, you know, is through to the quarterfinals. Mm. And of course, I made memorial. Of course, the toughest league, uh, the toughest game today. And of course, I made memorial sending. Uh, send, uh, 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 u
two are the goalkeeper because having two saves there. And that means in the boys' team, uh, we have Coach SS, we have a Nyai SS, we have Bista and the Yangle SS that are through at the semi finals to be played this evening by round four. Meanwhile, in the girls, of course, um, we have a uh, Kochi, of course, is through beating Millennium uh, four goals to zero. Mm. I mean, Memorial, of course, um, also beating uh, Padumbu girls uh, two goals to zero. Nyari, of course, while in Koboko Town College, two goals to zero. Uh, that means they are through. And then a uh, Koboko Public also through to uh, the semi finals to be played this afternoon. Okay, and now that's one of the biggest things uh, right there. When are we expecting these games to end? Well, I think, you know, as we said, Anadolu Koboko uh, being the host for the regionals this year, I really expected the Koboko to have been at par by now. They would have finished. But I think, uh, you know, today's weekend, to me, I expected not to be there. But because of time, uh, they had to really have these things done today, all the games. But uh, quarterfinals, uh, so the semifinals today will be done. And then the third place finals, Monday, uh, that's what I have to show you. And that is on Monday, uh, that's when all these games will get so by Monday, of course, are we expecting others are already done with uh, their games? Uh, maybe what could have delayed the, 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 the games this time around in Koboko? Uh, I think uh, quite a lot of issues. Uh, Koboko, he did explain about schools that were still struggling to get uh, their registration uh, accounts, of course, uh, the, 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 the MS accounts for putting their players and the issue of transfer. Many schools were really they had and they were given enough time to do that. But Koboko, as a whole, I think really uh, they were struggling to see how things would make you know, having in hand you have two things to do mm. uh, hosting the regionals at the same time. Uh, of course, also you need to conduct your inter class. I think uh, those were some of the reasons that made uh, Koboko to be very late in this uh, tournament. Okay, let's wait and see what exactly comes in there because Koboko, uh, I should say, they have, if it's referees, they are there. If it's the personnel, I believe most of the personnel are there. So I wouldn't expect the delays are right there. But of course, just like said, because of a few issues here and there, unless there's any other sports story that side uh, before we let you go. I think uh, uh, the story here is that really it started very, very well at uh, PC4 with a lot of, you know, joy. That's what people expected day one of the group stages. But today things have come to be, uh, you know, a tear gas day. Even uh, those in Luanga, you know, there were games in Central Luanga again. Uh, there were also a lot of tear gas there. You know, some of the games were almost in, uh, intercepted, but uh, late completed. But what I can assure you uh, for now is that I don't know how the quarterfinals, uh, sorry, the semifinals are going to be, where there will be venues not yet communicated. All in all, people know that were through to a semifinals, but venues not communicated. Otherwise, so uh, there's also that threat of. Uh, I'll keep you the, <laughs> so there's also a threat of. Uh, whether these games may not be played like us, we thought it would be taken to Bondo and uh, came to find out that it was played in Barifa. So I don't know which one, which one could be the safest place for these games to take place. Uh, to me, I think the safest place would be uh, down the deep to the other side, you know, uh, this hooliganism. You know, if you want to uh, <laughs> cause problems, you foot a two, three hours when players have already finished. <laughs> we shall come early. <laughs> People will come even the day before. Yeah. Okay, but the good thing that the games are going to be taking place today. Okay, I want to say thank you so much, Kokole, uh, for keeping up posted with Koboko and uh, say hi to everyone in Koboko. Thank you. All right. Thank you so All right. Now, if you look at this, of course, it's one big thing that you should be talking about in Koboko. Again, tear gas saga, <laughs> uh, just like the one in Arua that happened uh, right there. It is a lot of tear gas that happened, but this time around, uh, 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 there's that that has happened in Koboko. So um, uh, we saw uh, his last his last words where he said uh, he he wishes uh, that uh, the games be taken somewhere far where people foot three yeah, hours yeah. and you find the games are done. Well, 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 well. <laughs> people have other ideas. The other day, Obachas left at two a.m. <laughs> so that they catch up. <laughs> they were going to Aliba. <laughs> they wanted to punish them so that they reach there when games are done. But everyone reached and found them there. So. <laughs> so people, anyway, but that's have, a very good one. Have. <laughs> uh, I want to say that there's uh, one big challenge with uh, mm -hmm. with uh, with the uh, stories that probably keep coming uh, from uh, the two sides that are, are, are challenging, and I uh, want to say that uh, the two 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 teams, uh, Luanga and the rest, uh, things have really changed because if Luanga is ejected and you think 
it is, should be chaos that is being put in there. Then there should be a challenge. Um, a very, very big one uh, because uh, I really don't know what is happening to all these uh, traditional schools. They don't want to accept defeat that easily. I wish everyone borrows a leaf from uh, there is an Isle High Odia. Mm -hmm. They were beaten mm -hmm. by Oshindi and uh, that was finals. They, there was no chaos, there was no nothing. It ended peacefully. They accepted in their fate. But if, if that was in a rural city, Okoboko would be seeing another tear gas because <laughs> one, Nile High would feel so big that ah, Oshindi justice, this Oshindi here cannot beat us and we accept like that. But uh, people should also understand that uh, whether you, if you're beaten and you bring in chaos, it does not change the results. So you're just literally giving mimini uh, chandife, misi misi kind of. So uh, people should really, really learn to accept uh, any result that comes through. Uh, because really, if you want to win throughout, work hard. Let your boys work hard and win uh, so that you'll be very excited and all that. Okay, uh, that's one big thing. Uh, we are leaving there. Uh, now, the FUFA Big League continues today with a couple of games on card. Of course, if you look at uh, the games right now, you would see that uh, teams like Ondoparaka uh, taking on uh, the team of Achikes uh, Homeboys. You have Achinda uh, Boys taking on uh, Young Elephants. And then you have Ch Tume taking on Ginger North uh, United. Uh, Black Spa will be welcoming Karo Karunji. Uh, Mbale Heroes takes on Lugazi. As, of course, Police welcomes Boma Football Club. Those are the games that are coming right there. A couple of names on the list for Nduparaka. Ndifuna, you talk about uh, Jiga, uh, Michael, you talk about uh, uh, names like Mayanja, who are not going to be into the team, uh, Mandela, and uh, of course, they're all not going to be into the team. Uh, under I mean, under my junior. So this gives, an, uh, of course, opportunity to the rest of the after two consecutive losses. Um, uh, today's game is going to be, by the way, a little bit tough for Duparaka uh, for the fact that uh, they are home, yes, they'll have the top of my squad, they'll have uh, the rest of the advantages over Chigezi, but uh, Chigezi is also a very tough side. I looked at uh, the table standings and tried giving my analysis through there yesterday. They follow each other. On Duparaka sits in position number eight, I think, and Chigezi is in position number nine. So, uh, literally, all the three points matter to both teams, but then, uh, on Duparaka, on the other hand, as uh, much as uh, they have an upper hand with all the names that are missing. Look at uh, Andama Junior, mm. uh, Mandifuna, uh, Bonga, and then uh, Ajiga Michael. There is Mayanja, Kerepi, Jafar. So basically, you would literally see that uh, the names that are on the missing list are guys in the first team. So this is going to be a little bit hard for them. Uh, but then I, I, I just pray that uh, the, 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 the names that have, have, have appeared on the return list, there is a De Bryan and a Samson Sizo Kuti will be able to cover up all the space where uh, there is a little bit a longer list of uh, absentees. Uh, basically, uh, this, uh, yes, if Ondupraka wins this, it's, it's going to be a late win and uh, it's, it's not going to come in on a very smooth uh, plate. It's going to be a little bit hard because... Uh, Chigezi has, has also uh, energized themselves. They've, they've come in with a lot of morale uh, basing on the past two uh, games that Ondupraka actually lost. Of course, Chigezi comes in this game after winning and uh, that gives them a rejuvenation. But again, Ondupraka wants this the more uh, because Badly. there are a lot of things uh, that they need to push. And uh, winning this would give them more hopes of uh, the qualification that their uh, team wants. Uh, so I believe uh, it's a hard game, yes. Uh, with due respect that is being given to Chigezo homeboys, it's going to be also a tougher game uh, to watch in there. So fans should be right there already because 4 p.m. will be the kickoff time. Uh, you should be uh, waiting for what exactly will be the outcome uh, probably for the game right there. So that's one of the biggest things that we shall be looking into. But elsewhere, Chige Chinda will be uh, welcoming uh, young elephant. I doubt whether young elephant can pick that win away. Chinda, do you see possibility of... Uh uh, by the way, uh, young elephants has become something else lately. They have become, I should say, a king of draws. They, 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 they came here here in Calvary just here yeah. and tied a draw with Calvary, which where Calvary was home. And then uh, they, they tied another draw with police, which up to now uh, failed to recover from the shock. It was 3-3. And then uh, the last game they played, I think uh, they equally did so well. I really don't know where all this energy is coming from. So 
basically, I, I, I initially, if this was the old days of a young elephant, where any other person beats them, I would say, yeah, all odds are favoring uh, the opposite. But this time around, I really don't want to rule out young elephants. I think uh, they have realized, and uh, they're trying so, so hard to see to it that uh, they survive. But survival chances for them are equally very, very low. But uh, on today's game, it's going to be a little bit hard for them. If they can also pull through a draw, then it could be a good one for them, but it's going to be hard. Okay, Chetume will be playing uh, the team of uh, Ginger North right there at uh, the home of Chetume in Mukono. Of course, we are going to be seeing a lot of things after uh, losing to Nduparaka. They had the next game and things are not yet really well for them. They want to get that win in there. It shall the team of Ginger North survive. It's just a nearby derby, I should say. Uh, yeah, literally, uh, that looks like a derby. Uh, Chetume, yes, they really need this win so, so badly. Uh, whatever it is that disorganized to me i really don't know how and why uh, they are losing out even games at home where every other person stands and wants to build a very concrete defense to see to it that when they are home, no one uh, bypasses in of their defense. They make sure they collect all the three points and all that. Unless otherwise things get so bad, we literally see home teams always fighting to share in the spells. But at this time around, um, I think uh, Ginger North and uh, Chetume there, it's going to be a very tough one. Ginger wants this win so badly. Uh, Chetume equally also wants this win uh, so, so badly. And Chetume this time around will want to collect all the three points to prove to its fans that are kind of a little bit getting disappointed with them because they have been losing in a row even when they are home. So basically, I think uh, Chetume is going to fight in here tooth and nail to see to it that uh, they beat uh, Ginger North. Black's Power is at home going to welcome Karo Karunji and uh, Black's Power has all the guards probably to talk about and uh, because they're at home after picking a win uh, right here they went away and had a very uh, challenging moment uh, probably also coming in this game means very big for them as blacks power now of course we're asking whether covering is to play a covering is not surprised not playing because their fixture for today is of course against Ndeje uh, mm -hmm. which Ndeje is a team you've heard about who said uh, they were not able to probably make sure that they come into the games uh, for the second round so it affected uh, the fixture that means calvary will not be in action today uh, but uh, all roads uh, now will be leading to the nearest place where you can watch the games uh, aren't you uh, so tough game to see but blacks power karo karunji uh, is the game i'm talking about uh, right there possibility of uh, that is the coach has by the way just won uh the the, the folango the, the the trophy so he's coming back knowing that uh, this is another chance to prove uh, the, 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 the himself to the world He's coming back very energized with a, a huge excitement in there uh, where we all saw a lot of controversies uh, surrounding in uh, that final that Alango had to go and own against Bisoga. But then, uh, all in all, uh, the odds favored them and uh, they're still uh, patrolling around their trophy. An idea I think they borrowed from us, West Nile. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, wapi. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, basically, I think uh, Black Power today home at Kibwa, um, uh, that is a sure win for them because they have been winning. They came here, did beat on Dupa okay, in a, a late goal that came through from Maduka, uh, went away uh, to Ginger North and equally also won. And then uh, plus the province uh, win to them, and today they are home in Akibwa. I think basically it's also going to be another win for uh, there is a Black Power which will propel them uh, higher and higher, uh, making in uh, their position quite a little bit better on the table standings exactly now for a big thing that probably could be happening uh, right there and today uganda premier league uh, yesterday we did see happening uh with of course uh, teams like uh, bull and chitara playing chitara what uh, their own home but couldn't really uh, get the best out of uh, that is bull and then uh, we did see what uh, chiso giants uh, also neck uh, was also another game but let's start with chitara they uh, were held at zero zero with bull and this makes them still on the top uh, and then uh, bull follows them immediately Right there, 44 points uh, in 22 games and 40 points uh, is what Bull is having. The battle still continues. Uh, that 0-0 zero zero at uh, the home of the Rays, I'm talking about Chitar and Masindi, I think helped Bull uh, uh, Bull uh, cover in or reducing uh, the, the points gap that uh, they have been having with Chitara. They mm. shared in 1-1. One, one. Uh, it would be literally bad if any of the sides won. Uh, because when if Chitara had beaten a Bull, they would open in uh, the points gap. If Bull had beaten Chitara, they would uh, cover in uh, the points gap and reduce it to a little bit uh, slimmer. So uh, sharing in the spoils, I think, was quite a very good one for both teams. But then, uh, like Adalia said, I, I, I think Bull this time around proved Chitara 
Nyoro and uh, they were a headache to them. A very big clash that I said was a clash of titans because you literally saw how uh, Chitara the other time uh, uh, washed or thrashed David Obu aside your way with mm -hmm. very quick goals in the first five minutes. I think they already had registered two goals and all that. So basically, they now understand that certain teams are a little bit easier and that not every other team will be beaten so easily, even down at Masindi. Okay, you can still drop your messages right there on that is uh, the comment box. I just like for those who are already dropping, like uh, Mahad Rashid, the likes of uh, uh, Zam, did Amos. Thank you so much for following and watching. Uh, that is West Nile Television. And uh, for those who are following through the platforms, it's a very great one. You can still be part of it. Uh, drop your questions, uh, drop your messages. We shall be, uh, of course, uh, uh, getting uh, to them and give you all uh, the updates and the details that you need to know uh, from all these uh, stories that are coming. Uh, so, Bull, uh, I think. I remember saying Bull is like a Tottenham Woods pass that lies a lot to its followers. Uh, you would see Bull being on table up to even the second round, but after there, you don't see them. They're like Arsenal. Sorry, <laughs> Arsenal fans, you'll forgive me. Uh, that's how they are like. Uh, you have very big hope, and uh, at, at last, mm -mm, they don't achieve. So when is going to be that time that Bull will really, really uh, want to show to the world that this is it? Because they're playing good football. They are doing everything. But it reaches moment you see them lose minor games. And that affects them every time in the games. So it's a very big one. But again, Hussein Balangu's side lost yesterday. Hey, they lost to the team of Manchester Giants. Unexpectedly, someone was, was saying this is not true. But exactly, they were lost to Achiso. Uh, it actually also shocked me uh, because uh, Neck, uh, with the current position they hold, in uh, there is other table studies of certain you get a Premier League, you literally give in all the odds to them. Um, I'm quite sure those who uh, staked in their monies in this game yesterday lost a lot because literally every other person would have stake in their monies on other is Neck. Whatever it is that happened, um, I think basically to me, uh, Mbalangu and Dudu are misusing our culture. They are not giving him his uh, natural position to play. Um, uh, Malangu is always on a back three, on a back three uh, play, uh, kind of, which is, to me, uh, quite very, uh, it's becoming dangerous. Mm. Teams now know that uh, they're always on a back three where Okocha is misused. Uh, to me, let Okocha go in his former position, let Malangu try uh, a back four. Trust me, uh, things are going to start working out for them. But uh, losing out uh, comes to the usual the usual people being placed there, the usual, uh, the usual uh, lineup, and, and all that, and all that. So I think teams also come in and study, and then devise a means of beating you in your own game. So basically, that is the biggest for me uh, with neck. Neck is really uh, there. That means they have lost again that point, it, uh, all those points, which is not a good one for them uh, yeah. because it is, uh, it keeps letting you down. And uh, don't get surprised. One time, one day. When uh, Neck Football Club uh, decides to fire these coaches <laughs> because they're investing big, okay, they're investing big, but they are not getting the oh, best the out of yeah. the team. So I, I think one time, one day, you're going to see those challenges coming through. But all in all, uh, we're expecting two big things coming. One of them is uh, the, the way teams, of course, are trying to, uh, to, 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 to move from where they have been, from how they are moving to where they will end. So Dudu Mbalangu should be careful. In fact, the technical team of NEC, because I'm seeing something fishy. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time they, were, they started well and were dropping performances, I remember they were warned according to what I got. So I think they need to improve every time. And now, now let's uh, have that. But before we get to that also, uh, there's um, that story of... Uh, uh, Lumala crossing over. Remember, he was released by, Kiss, uh, by, by, by Viper Sports Club. Now, he had to cross over to, uh, to, 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 to the team of, uh, in fact, he's now not in Uganda. Then he got another juicy deal. This is a player who had a, who had a very big stink at uh, Viper Sports Club after he put everything possible for the team and uh, had to drive it through with uh, his energy, but Vipers released him. Now, reports came in yesterday that Abdul Lumala has gotten a new club that is, uh, he's going to be playing in for. First and foremost, before even we get to uh, the history of the club that he is going to be playing in for, uh, let's look at uh, how strategic it was Lumala. Did you see him get enough space 
at Viper Sports Club? Um, he actually didn't get, for me, he didn't get a lot of a play time at Vipers and basically uh, that is why he pushed in for his release and Vipers to me also did good to actually give him uh, a release and basically um, uh, going out and getting an opportunity out there mm. uh, gets to prove the fact that uh, he didn't get play time at Vipers otherwise he would prove to the world or he would prove to all the stakeholders and every other person in Vipers that yeah he is the right choice and that uh, he can actually make things right so uh, not getting enough playtime and then going somewhere and uh, getting playtime and proving the, the, the people he left behind wrong is quite something very massive and it's quite a very good one. It's a very good one uh, according to what it says. We take a break. We shall be coming back to give you all about Abdul Umala. At the same time, we shall also be coming back uh, to give you on what is happening in the CAF, Confider uh, CAF Champions League where of course uh, yesterday you did see Simba suffer and then of course um, uh, there is uh, Nyangu warning also uh, the team of uh, uh, the, the, the younger or the young Africans about what exactly they say about football. We're taking a short break. When we come back, we shall be giving you all those details before we cross over to the international stories and some of the stories that are running are right there. Let's keep it on West Nile Television. We'll be right back. Nile TV, lighting up the region. Nile TV, lighting up the region. West Nile TV, lighting up the region.
All right, welcome back from that break. And of course, still West Nile Television live on uh, the TV. And um, you should be getting yourself uh, surprised over what probably is happening in Uganda because there are a lot of things. I'm just meant to know uh, that Uganda has one of the biggest uh, um, 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 sports bears, but I'm not seeing anything outcome out of it. Uh, just like someone was like, uh, now the Kenzo and uh, uh, the, 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 what is her name, Nyam Toro Saga, is like the sports team is in because both love sports. Uh, because there's the Eddie Kenzo Academy that has also been <laughs> right there. Uh, this lady loves netable like any other thing. So that is for the Chuku Chuku team. They will come and discuss <laughs> more. But anyway, one of the biggest things that I want to say is that uh, we were still talking about Abdul Malam, who probably crossed over to cross here. Uh, now he is the man. Can he improve the team of uh, in Croatia? Because there is a team called uh, Soles is where he has gone, and he is going to be uh, trading his, uh, of course, uh, football that side. Remember, he played for in Sweden by then. Uh, and then he kept, uh, for a team called uh, Kalmar. He played uh, for Boys. He played for Sirianka FC in Egypt. He played for Pyramids uh, before, of course, returning to that is the uh, to, to, to Vipers. But now he has gotten that opportunity after they were released and said to be surplus to requirements. Now that is one big thing. Now he is one player to talk about, Abdul Lumala. Um, quite a very good one with uh, vast experiences uh, uh, in uh, his uh, former clubs that he actually worked for. Mm. Uh, just like uh, you have told us now, he crosses uh, to, uh, there is a crochet in a uh, crochet top tire uh, football there. And... Um, um, uh, how long the contract is, I think is something that we are yet to know, uh, which has not been revealed. Uh, but then, uh, to me, this is quite a very good one. And uh, crossing in that side, um, I think I is going to need a little a little bit of patience to, of course, understand uh, the type of football that other Croatians play, basically, <laughs> uh, before uh, taking in our Ugandan tactics uh, today, in there. Uh, today, there's a very big encounter at, uh, 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 in fact, under floodlights, uh, cases here against URA is a very big game that you should be expecting in there. And then, uh, uh, not in fact, URA against uh, Vipers, not cases here, URA against Vipers. It's Charles Livingston Babazi and uh, the man who is called um, 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 who? Oboa. So this game will be at uh, Lugogo because they said their pitch was having issues. They had requested for Lugogo uh, to be, uh, of course, the pitch is having some function that side. So today at 7, Lugogo is where URA will be hosting Viper Sports Club. Um, I will really want to do the analysis of this. <laughs> I want to understand why URA moving from one stadium to another. Does URA have a stadium of their own? Yes, they have, of course. Which is? And uh, they are using it every time. Which is? <laughs> but of late, I don't see them using it. The other time, they borrowed. Renovation. They borrowed. Uh, <laughs> They borrowed Chitende. Another time you, you, they were at Meta. Before they were, I think, Chester. Where I don't know if those are the right words. Uh, another time they were at Arena of Visions, home of Deje. They failed to, I think, um, uh, they failed to manage it well, agreements and all that. They also were, I don't know. So URA basically moving from one place to another also keeps affecting the results. But otherwise, uh, David Oboe is also good uh, with the tactics that he instills in his players. Trust me, if you look at, if you watch URA these days, you literally understand and notice that uh, there is some little bit of difference that Oboe has put in the type of game that URA displays. It's quite very different. Give David Oboe uh, two, three years. He will completely change in the face of uh, Ugandan football. Vipers is unbeaten in uh, that is the last four league matches against URA according to uh, the head-to-head -head statistics. Uh, three wins, uh, one draw. So that shows you what exactly uh, the two sides will be. But ap apart from that game, there's also another game uh, between uh, of, uh, Sports Club Villa and uh, of course uh, uh, Manbarara, a game that will also be right there. Uh, so these are some of the places in there. Uh, this game will be at Wankulukuku, uh, where of course Sports Club Villa also trains, uh, tra trades their game. But most of the times we are expecting a lot of things. So uh, this time round we shall be waiting to see how this uh, pushes in there. But those are some of the games. Now I did say uh, the, uh, the team of, um, of, uh, of, of young African uh, were warned by Dennis Masindo Nyango that uh, football is not played on social media. Football, wait for the day. Let's do. And that is what exactly is happening. 
And this is where now, of course, the team of uh, Sundown will be facing Yanga in uh, that is uh, the um, Parker Stadium. Uh, this is going to be a very tough one. A very tough one. Uh, the calf this time around, by the way, it's going to be very interesting. Uh, we have uh, literally known and judged other teams based on the experience, uh, their past experiences. But then uh, the new entrance this time around into calf, by the way, and I think uh, they are a huge side to watch. Um, uh, uh, but, uh, leaving that and talking about uh, the younger in, 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 in Mameludi, uh, trust me, younger is young. At you, there is a Mameludi, <laughs> <laughs> just like their names. Exactly. Uh, they uh, cannot uh, do anything to Mamelodi. They needed it. They need this win more than even younger. <laughs> Which, of course, they know they can get. Now, I want to give you some statistics that uh, if you look at the team of South Africa that went into the Africa Cup of Nations, that totally 90% yes, were players of sundown. Yeah. 90% were players of sundown. Starting from the goalkeeping department, mm -hmm. that number one custodian of sundown, who was, of course, the Bafana, Bafana the is the best. number one. Ron Wayne Williams. Of course, that is the man who is uh, whom uh, my man here, Dennis Masindo Nyango, is now a second fiddle too. Yep. Now, a lot of names you should talk about from that team. So, I don't know uh, whether this will be a chance for them to, to, to show that we can also play against the cream de la cream. Uh, Young is also equally a good side in East Africa, but of course uh, in Tanzania. Uh, they have always been a good side. They have everything. So we're waiting to see. But all, all that's one big thing. Yesterday also, Tanzania's side, I'm talking about it, Simba, also fell down. One goal to nil uh, to Al Ahili in uh, their own home there. They were also beaten at that is uh, the home. So at Impaka Stadium, again, in fact, they have started the losses, maybe we should say. Uh, sundown is also coming. But I think for adventure, for tourism, that's a good one. It's a good one, but uh, result-wise, trust me, they won't touch anything. They won't go very far. They won't actually uh, go against. But um, uh, for the first time, getting the experience is quite very good, just like our, our Vipers did. Went in, got the experience, came back instead of working ahead and going back they came back for good i don't know what they are planning next but uh, for the others i think it's quite a very good experience to go in there and uh, uh, get to uh, play a lot of the teams that are highly ranked and all that that is money every stage you reach it's money so people are playing money ahmed ukwaku's uh, goal was the one that of course uh, made the difference of one nil uh, against uh, the team uh, right there so it's very challenging that the team Right there. Let's go into some of the international stories before we call it a day right there with the top stories coming in there. Why, of course, Onel, uh, the coach of Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, refuted and uh, says uh, he will snub any deal for Manchester United, uh, for, uh, from Manchester United, for that is Wolverhampton Wanderers, and he's still a coach. He will be a coach, head coach, in fact. He is not taking any deal from United. Um, I think United is a idea need of a uh, head coach, but then some somehow uh, they have also given in a lot of courage is Eric Tetak saying he has come here to stay, he's not going anywhere. So uh, basically I think now they have realized that uh, they need a replacement if they need to get back to their glory days. But basically uh, if the people they keep going in for uh, turn them down, then it's quite going to be very embarrassing and very bad. One. But of course, uh, they always have alternatives. If, if option A fails, basically uh, there should be an option B and not every other person will uh, turn down the offer of crossing to Manchester United. Now of course there was also no offer for that is Liverpool, uh, uh, Barcelona, who were all looking at Xabi Alonso. Uh, but according to reports yesterday, Xabi Alonso has said it clearly. He is not going anywhere and he is negotiating new deal with Bayer Leverkusen. He is remaining. Bad news for that is team uh, Barcelona and uh, team uh, Liverpool. Now, Liverpool have turned their eyes uh, to Sporting Lisbon's uh, uh, first coach, Ruben Amorim, uh, into that is uh, to replace uh, this uh, coach who says he's going to be leaving Union Club. So, in case of anything, that is what is there. Um, Kobe Mainio is going to be missing today's game, according to reports coming from Manchester United, due to injuries. But of course, you're going to be seeing new names coming. I mean, new faces probably who could come in after the press conference by all uh, by by Eric Ten Hag is saying uh, names like. Um, uh, Lis Licha or Lisandro Martineza, then you have Luke Shaw could be returning back into the team. So those are some of the things at the camp of Manchester United. Arsenal for them are plotting for a swap for that is Fenerbahce's defender. 
they want him to come and of course make sure that he maybe makes way but Arsenal has a game tomorrow against Manchester City they have Mahales they have um, uh, the Bukayo Saka could be returning uh, th 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 those are the possibilities they said will be available for the game right there uh, for the team and Martinelli so uh, is that a good one for Arsenal? Um, it's a good one for Arsenal, and by the way, uh, Arsenal uh, are very, very excited over uh, the news that uh, Kyle Walker and John Stones are actually slated to miss in. Uh, there is uh, the Manchester City game uh, tomorrow against Arsenal. So basically, uh, but I think uh, they are already jubilating, knowing that uh, these people are very huge problems to them. <laughs> but of course, uh, I just did say it's about how a team depth is. I think uh, for Arsenal, those names are good additions to them in the, in, to boost their team. But for Man City, yes, Cole Walker is one of the key players. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, they have options that they can always provide. So let's sure. wait and see what exactly comes right there. Today, 3.30, you have uh, Newcastle. The game is going to be live already at uh, 3.30. You're going to be seeing them take on West Ham. And then Bournemouth is taking on Everton. And uh, Chelsea will be welcoming Burnley. And then, of course, you have uh, Nottingham Forest taking on Crystal Palace. As, of course, Sheffield takes on Fulham. Tottenham Spurs will be taking on Luton. Aston Villa takes on Wolves. And at 11, United will be welcoming Brentford. Uh, I mean, United will travel to Brentford. Now, someone had uh, asked about a possible lineup of uh, Chelsea, Chelsea yeah. uh, in uh, the comment uh, in there. And uh, who probably? Now, for me, I could see possibly Chelsea going for the 4 2 3 1 formation as usual. And uh, Petrovic uh, still at the goals. Uh, uh, for that is uh, the team of uh, Chelsea, uh, Gusto, De Sassi, Silva, and uh, of course uh, Kukurela. I'm seeing that partnership. Then you are uh, maybe Casado, uh, Enzo Fa uh, Fernandez, and then of course uh, Palma, Gallagher, and Mudraik. Uh, Mudrik are sitting uh, in the front uh, three there. Uh, front, there's nobody you can rely on apart from, of course, uh, the man by the names of uh, Jackson because Sterling is not going to be probably into the game because they has an uh, injury. Now, the injuries include Ch uh, Chukwe Meka, uh, Nkunku, uh, of course, uh, Ngukuchu, uh, they, have, you know, they have Nigerians. <laughs> then there's uh, Colwell, James, Lavia, and Fofona who could be missing into the team. Those are the injuries right there uh, for the team. So Chelsea against Burnley. What do you say? Your prediction? Uh, it's going to be quite a very hard one uh, with uh, the injury list and, uh, of course, uh, the lineup, uh, possible lineup. And I think uh, I am seeing a draw here for Chelsea uh, because they have uh, literally been uh, off home. And uh, those questions came in from Azam Diamos. I hope now uh, that uh, they have answered you, Amos. You wanted a possible lineup for Chelsea and injury list, which my colleague, of course, uh, has uh, given uh, to you. And a uh, big ups to Moses uh, Katusi and Mahad Rashid, uh, wherever you are catching us from all right thank you so much that brings us to the end of today's show i uh, want to say we are very glad to have you right there watching following i've loved the way you guys are liking following and of course doing any other thing but of course thank you so much for watching uh, Susie, maybe your party uh, words. Uh, uh, today, uh, there is a very big one in a Bundesliga, a Copa de Classica, where we'll be having a Bayern Munich uh, taking 